hey how's it going everyone welcome to cyberhunk and in this video we are going to set up a web browser server in android plus we are going to port forward or we are going to expose our files over the internet uh, so that anyone can access your files so it's a quite interesting topic and uh, i hope you are aware about this thing called web dev. Uh, if you don't know this and i would recommend to uh, read through a blog here in the description okay let's start and i already had a video about this a web dev server and explaining all those things but you know it it, it accidentally got deleted so that's why i decided to make this video and i hope this find helpful and uh, let's start so i'm going to divide this topic in two parts actually and the first part this part i'm going to explain some basic commands uh, of uh, web dev i mean I'm actually using Cadaver as my web dev client, but you can go ahead and choose any other, um, you know, clients. Uh, but in this demonstration here, I'm using Cadaver, but you can use CURL or any other clients. Uh, so let's here stick with Cadaver, and uh, uh, you need to get this app from the uh, description that is called Web Dev Server Pro. Yeah, that's the pro version, and you can get this app from the place uh, I mean my description section and I actually made that in a zip format so you have to unpack by using a password uh, given the description so after you've done those things you can just go ahead and open this app and uh, let's go into the settings and in the settings you can see in network interface so in the network interface uh, let's choose loopback because we are about to expose our files over the internet through this loopback because we are actually uh, port forwarding uh, so it's better to stick with loopback sometimes it's my personal suggestion uh, and then the port and so I just made this as triple nine it's, it's just my conviction to choose this same kind of numbers but it's not like that you could choose any port available in your device and it's better to enable this authentication because we are about to expose our files over the internet uh, so users uh, coming to your server have to authenticate uh, kind of you know if, if you if you are about to expose your files and then if someone is you know coming on to your server then it's better to enable authentication I will show you that in the next video and uh, why it is useful and uh, you can choose any username or password and the home directory this is your landing zone uh, this is your client comes in the place uh, so I just made as SD card and uh, I would show I think if you're if you're watching this uh, or if you never heard about web dev this might be confusing but I will show you what this does in a minute okay now let's go ahead and turn on the server as you can see my current server is running on a local host um, then triple nine nine and the username and password is this and you can see my home directory is my SD card and uh, open up any browser and the address bar you can type uh, the address of this uh, specific um, our web dev server and you can see I have to in, um, log into my server and with the credentials that I have um, after you log in you can go ahead and access any files in your you know web dev server as well so here in my case I have a, a folder called music and the music uh, I can just go ahead and uh, you know access any files inside this music so this is how you can browse through your web dev server or i mean it's how you can use your browser with web dev server but if you are about to use um uh, your terminal along with uh, web dev server this is how it goes as i already mentioned we have to install a cadaver and after we install cadaver you can just go ahead and type cadaver then the address of our server that is localhost or 127.0.0.1 and then the port that we have and now in this case I have to 
log in to my server by using my credentials and now as you can see I'm currently in a, a logged into my server and I'm going to show you some basic commands uh, which works with this uh, web dev and as I already mentioned there are plenty of other tools uh, I mean web dev clients available uh, I think you might be noticed uh, CURL work, works with uh, web dev and some kind of you know there are some other sites which has web dev enabled by default and you know some skitties over there you know they they just go ahead and upload uh, files or they, they they could replace the index files by using uh, CURL that's just another story we don't have to discuss those I just said it uh, now let's go ahead and learn some commands basic commands of get out and let's uh, for listing files this works same as like any Unix command or Linux commands like you know CD for change directory make directory uh, listing files that kind so let's go ahead and list files in this and you can see my all files available and just for this example uh, let me go ahead and have a look at this IDRSA okay so I'm going to show you another thing um, which might be make directory okay this works same as like any Unix command so that's why I said this is like symbol to use easy and handy cadaver mm, so let's make a directory called let's say pep8 no any okay so i just created uh, a directory it's not a directory actually it 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 is said like collection in web dev that's a collection okay and uh, you can just go ahead and cd into that directory i mean that collection and for listing a file you can use ls and uh, for downloading and uploading files okay this uh, now things are getting more interesting so you can use uh, this cadaver for uploading and downloading files uh, what i meant is uh, if you're interacting with the web server let's say you're company have a web server or your blog have a web server inside and the web dev is enabled and you can just you know remotely upload and download files from there yeah this is a uh, cadaver is actually working in web servers um, you can just go ahead and you know expose your storages your windows storages or anything over web dev it's very interesting okay so now I will show you how you can upload a file using uh, put command so put is the command that is you know used for uploading files uh, I can just go ahead and upload any file into a particular directory in this case let me uh, upload this file called id rsa uh, to uh, the folder called php let's say for instance php um, Put this slash here. Okay, it's just successfully uploaded to that specific directory, and you can download files by using a get command, and you can get that uh, you know file from any directory as well. Now uh, here I can uh, download files by using. Uh, get command uh, I can get any commands from here um same as like this you could also use uh, get command for downloading files uh, in this case I'm going to download a, um, a file in this directory uh, let's download IDRSA itself uh, it is actually downloading into our local our home directory actually so I'm gonna get and uh, enter local file name I can uh, you know download with any file now let's say for instance ty and it is successfully downloaded and you can download by using any um, you know files from any directory to your uh, specified directory or your home directory that's up to you and in order for downloading multiple files okay
So in order for downloading multiple files, you could use mkit command and then the files that you need to download and then the specified directory as well. So uh, in order for uploading multiple files, you can use input and files that you need to upload and your specified directory as well. So this works same and very handy to use and you could use all these commands cd make directory ls and for listing files uh, these are like basic linux commands so it's very easy to use and uh, yeah that's it for this uh, first part section and the next part as i already mentioned we are going to expose our files over the internet so that anyone can access your web server and you know we can they can download files they can um, maybe upload files kind of things and this is how you can use web dev uh, cadaver uh, with web dev and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel cyberhunk you can subscribe for the latest videos and that's just, that's it for this video and I will meet you guys in the next video